Now folks, I'm going to give you a lot of actual factual here, and we're going to go through some pictures that we're going to be going through in many videos to prove to you the fact that all the photos that I showed you, do you see the stars glimmering on the satellite? And I'm going to end up showing you, I've not got the moon shot, but I do have a recent shot of, from the ground, someone got a great shot of the moon, okay? Now what you see is stars, yes, there's infinite amount of stars out in space glimmering in, and this is basically a satellite taking a picture of another satellite, taking a real good, why they don't give us a Dargon good shot of basically actual factual uh, meteors that basically go through, because basically I have caught satellites that take pictures of the South Pole, okay, and yeah, this isn't no art, ladies and gentlemen, okay, because basically factual actual will bring you in at 400, and hello, SCADA, supervisor control and data acquisition, I know it very well. So here we go, 999, because that little shift on the screen was basically going like, what the hell is he looking at? An actual shot of an object in space, and basically some people will be able to go, hey, I know what, I know what object that is, I've seen that picture before, yep. So we'll be naming a lot of stuff in the future, but as we basically minus out of these stars glimmering on this somewhat large meteor, okay, comet, basically a planetoid object, okay, because there's a name, the nomenclature that we're not going to get into right now of going into the factual, actual, and yes, this is all actual, factual shot from out in space and all these are going to be actual pictures there's going to be one fake shot in here where it's going to be make you realize of what the core of earth is and we've never drilled to it okay and hopefully no nut will ever possibly do that there's no reason to drill that deep so basically these are all i'm going to show you all these are real pictures that i'm going to be showing you basically this is a great one here that i can show you that this is the milky way galaxy and this shows you how far out our satellites get and how great they are at taking pictures because basically that's denotes the sun down there okay this is the milky way galaxy okay we'll keep zooming up i'll put 9.99 in and our satellites are awesome basically uh yeah there are certain industries basically you have to realize that we're just using we can produce as many as we want privately for uh it doesn't really matter it's actual factual if you can figure out politics you know, it doesn't matter. As soon as you start talking about anything, it's politics because everything's political anymore. That's the politician's fault. They made everything political. Now you can see through the arrow. So basically you can see that no matter what, okay, when they're pointing, see this, the sun looks like a black star from way the hell away. And then basically uh, other stars with it you zoom in on and so forth and so on. And then planetoid objects that rotate around the sun, okay. Now, the sun is basically that star there, okay? And then that's one of the huge meatballs that are in the Milky Way galaxy, okay? As we minus out of here, we're gonna realize this is the Milky Way galaxy, and there's lots of meatballs, dark objects that are in. You can see them at nighttime when you go outside and look at the Milky Way galaxy. If you see something really dark, it's just a hole through space where you can see darkness in space, or there's very possibly a meatball somewhere in some kind of galaxy star formation, star cluster, uh, star solar system, because stars are all solar systems, and there's way more than the sun in the Milky Way galaxy, okay? Remember, this is the Milky Way galaxy, and as you can see, there's way more than one sun in the Milky Way galaxy, okay? We know that. Okay, that's actual fact. We all know that. It's pretty simple. Uh, Let's get to more of the pictures that we're going to end up looking at in the future. Now, basically, this is from Earth, basically a exposure, basically, I don't know the time or anything like that, but basically, as you can see, we are Earth, and basically, yes, we rotate to the sun every day, and we rotate around the sun, okay, and the sun is not in this shot, okay, because it's a nighttime shot, but you realize that we rotate to the east towards the sun, and as you can see here, since this is taken at nighttime, we're not seeing towards the east in space. And yes, everything's a spiral. And let me take you to the Hubble telescope, which everybody's always wanted to be able to see a nice shot through the Hubble eye of the telescope. Now, there's some star system stuff there. I can pump that up real fast to 400, give you a little bit of idea that. And then remember that what we're talking about Alpha Centauri is four point something, and I'll get the exact Nats ass on that, but the idea that it is planetoid object and I'll even put a nice shot of it in here that we've got great shots of it up close 
beautiful shots, not something like that, but that is real too. Now here's a real actual factual that I got it up at 999 and I'll pump out after I pumped in. And we'll you realize that you're looking out into space when a star system, okay, which is a solar system, which is there's plenty of them in the Milky Way galaxy. The sun is just, and then we're interconnected to everything. And when I take you back to the Hubble here in a minute, which basically this is probably taken from one of the Hubble telescopes or one of the telescopes, it doesn't really matter. So as we're in on those star, that solar system out there in space, we we minus out. I hope I don't give it, and it doesn't matter if I give somebody vertical, you got to be able to realize that this is all actual factual that we're giving you out here in space. And we'll pop to 400. Okay, and then we're down to like 150. And yes, this makes you show and believe and understand that factual, actual, that we can zoom in on tons of stuff out in space. The other shot was basically from the satellite from way the heck out. Now basically I can lean in on these stars here real fast that are illuminating down on this object that we've all known about that rotates It's in our solar system with the sun, okay? I uh, really don't care too much about it because in the future we'll come back to this shot in the next few videos. And I'll prove to you that basically, actually I can even move up here and get up on those stars that are up there clustered and basically illuminating down onto this object out in space, okay? They're not stars that are between, there you go, there's the stars, you know this is real. Now I'll pop out of that and here I'll swing down one more time and we're swinging, okay? And then we're not, we're going to minus out of the shot, boom, 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 boom. And then we're going to not get rid of the magnifier because we're going to just keep on flowing through this here video that we just throw it up real fast. And yes, that's not art. That's an actual picture, ladies and gentlemen, because I was in at 999 on that and we were on that star cluster up there. This is all real photos from out in space. And there is part of the Milky Way galaxy. And this, yes, is in our solar system. And we will even zoom in on that in the future and see what object we have there. But for the time being right now, we're going to keep going through the factual. And here we are at the Hubble telescope. OK, we're in at 999. If you don't believe me, we're going to zoom in on these stars. You're at Heaven's Gate right now, pretty much. This is the biggest eyeball in the world when it works real good. And no, I'm not hacked into and getting their data right now that they're getting in, but someone could. You know, and I'm not, I'm not hacked officially. It can be proven not. I'm actual factual all the time. Because see, I have people that are blackmailing me. So yeah, and I've got them by the balls. So anyhow, uh, shouldn't have tried to kidnap somebody's kids okay and basically they kidnap kidnap them illegally because there's so much money involved that they think they can get away with it and they're not I'll have some time with my kids plenty of time with my kids because my kids are going to realize how many people in the world are trying to screw them at the same time hey you're screwing your father if they're screwing your father they're screwing you especially since your father has all your intangible wealth that is so anyway so now the actual factual we're at the eyeball of the Hubble telescope. And I'll actually even show you how they know and see light years and so forth because they've got it all programmed into their, and we'll pop down to 200, and there you go. As you can see, they have light years and everything like that. And yes, everything looks, it's a microscope, okay? It's a microscope off in space. And they can get in on light years and stuff like that. Apertures here, and that's the viewing lens of it and so forth. And then we'll pump back up and get back in and show you basically we've taken you into the heaven's gate but they really don't give you a live shot on a camera which they could why don't we we paid a lot of tax dollars for this stuff right we all own it it's all taxpayer dollars see that's why you can't i can't get in trouble showing you this stuff ladies and gentlemen this is all taxpayer dollars okay and these are stars out in and basically as i back out of this you're going to see the actual factual that stars are all connected like a bunch of amoebas basically uh, microscopic okay out in space and as I move to the right you're gonna see the DNA makeup of the Milky Way galaxy as you can see that basically everything's in a strand out there ladies and gentlemen and basically yes that is basically the eye of the Hubble telescope right there okay so now we're gonna basically keep cruising around here and basically uh, I will always keep everything secretive about and we are the I love every branch of the US military okay I love everything in the shadows. Every branch. Okay? So, they don't know what you can do, and I don't online, but whatever. So here's some more examples of being able to zoom in on stuff out in space. And then you realize the black light, too, that I showed you on the sun. And when we're looking over at Hawaii, that the fa actual factual that 
that is a super giant stars that are sitting over on Hawaii at CFHT thanks to the Canadian French telescope and everything like that for everything that they do and all the telescopes and actual factual yes Bino can bleed all this stuff truth to you because basically I'm not a government paid operative I'm not a astronomer astrologer for the government so I can t show you the actual factual so as you can see you can get zoomed in on a lot of actual factual pictures okay these are actual shots and I just gave you better resolution yes they fixed the Hubble so that now they have way better resolution they even have better than what I just showed you in the other one now this is an actual planet and it's not earth and you're gonna freak out and it's basically this is Alpha Centauri BB and you're gonna see that basically now you have to realize that we're there's no we know that there's no mankind or at least intelligent like us are there there's no satellites okay as I rotate around Alpha Centauri BB there are no satellites so we have lots of satellites that are out roaming around. And I'm going to show you the moon, recent of with the ISS going by. And then you're going to see the starlight glimmering on the moon, which a lot of times you don't see because a lot of times NASA doesn't and the government and everything doesn't want you to realize that when you see starlight glimmering on the moon, it's not, it's not a star cluster or an ice crystal. It's not an ice crystal, no. A milkshake hits the ground, yeah, that was what the moon would probably look like if it hit anything real big and hard and heavy like the earth or something like that okay so this is actual factual and I'll scroll down through the the face of it and basically you see there's weather and those are not stars that are just barely close those are stars that are glimmering on the atmosphere and yes it has an atmosphere and it has weather okay and it's like I can zoom in here and you're gonna know that this is no part of earth okay so here we go we'll zoom in as much as we can and then I'll get I'll have another shot that's real too and we'll zoom in and that's real and for tape time I'll pop out of here real fast I'll give you uh, like a 400 of this and then we'll, we'll pop through some pictures that we got and yes this is all real it's not art okay this is actually it would take years and years and years okay and that's what space looks like out in space color different color stars and so forth and those are stars out there okay this is not art okay it's not art it's a little bit blurred so the idea that you think it's art Okay, and we'll try to get uh, a lot of these images that I'll be able to zoom in on. That are going to be able to zoom in on that, and that's the future. We zoomed in on that already, and basically I can just go back like this. And remember, they lie to you about Pluto, and this is actual factual data. They lie about the size of Pluto because this is actual factual. These guys are reputable. Everything in here is reputable. This is the known, and this is an actual shot out in space of Pluto, and then they sh in Charon. And basically these are the size and then remember that's not Alpha Centauri BB I showed you Alpha Centauri BB and here's Alpha Centauri BB not not this okay but these are actual shots that we're gonna come back and look to too it's not art and this is not art either and this is an actual shot of Alpha Centauri BB and I'm gonna zoom in on a nice bright area of water and ocean and coastline and you're gonna know that this is not earth okay that is not earth Everybody's going to say, oh, well, that's China's mainland and everything. No, it's not. Let me go all the way around here. Okay. Why does their mainland down there where there would be Philippines and so forth? This is not Earth. Okay. And that's not another planetoid object or a moon there in there either. Okay. Now, there's a possibility that that could be a moon, but those aren't stars around that moon. Those are actual, if it is a moon, but the, what that is is stars glimmering on a moon. And that might be a moon, but basically, more than likely, it might be just the ocean of this planet. And basically, it's Alpha Centauri BB. And as you can see, the land mass there too. That's not Russia. Okay, that's not Russia. That's not China. Okay, and that's not America over there to the right either. Okay. So this is all actual factual from out in space. Okay, an actual photo from out in space. Okay, and if you don't believe me, here we'll zoom in on some stars. And those are stars that are glimmering on the atmosphere of this planet. Okay. And sometimes stars glimmer on Earth's atmosphere way out in space too when they get far enough out and shoot, okay? Those are stars glimmering on that atmosphere of that planet. And as you can see there, there's stars there. Out, out here, there's stars. Just like on the telescope, you'd be able to zoom in. And I'm zoomed in out there, but I got a, the size that we're at. There's a star way the heck out there, okay? Then I will get 
Hopefully the zoom works. Boom, 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 boom. Not Earth, and that's not the sun. 